Electric motors in the power range required for an electric car have until now mainly been developed for use in the traditional industry, operating at a constant speed. These industrial motors can't, however, cope with the demands for safety, low weight, efficient packaging and driving range, noise issues and climate conditions that the automotive world requires. An electric motor in a car must also handle large variations in load, road grip and speed, as well as regeneration of energy to the car's battery. To find a motor and power electronics with the wanted basic properties is one thing, but then to further develop the system together with the vehicle and test it, develop again, something completely different. That approach is something we have used also for basically all other systems, like the charging system, the battery system, the climate system, the brake system, and the electrical architecture, for example, including brand new CAN communication between the motor, the gas pedal, the shifter, and all the other systems which are involved. The liquid-cooled motor in the Volvo C30 electric is a hybrid synchronous motor with permanent magnet rotor. This advanced energy-efficient electric motor of 82 kilowatts or 111 horsepower provides torque already from the start with exceptional response. The acceleration from 0 to 70 kilometers per hour takes only 6 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited to 130 kilometers per hour. The most vital component is probably the power electronics that converts the battery DC to AC and delivers as much current as the motor requires in every given moment. For all systems with high reliability requirements like this one, Volvo has developed redundant systems that control the same signals in separate ways to make sure that nothing unexpected will happen. Mounting and installation of the electric drivetrain is very different to combustion engines, since the electric motor works in completely different fields with respect to natural frequencies, torque buildup, noise, vibrations, and rapid changes of direction and speed. The new driveline and the power electronics have, for safety and packaging reasons, also resulted in the development of a new front structure. As a result, the distance between the bonnet and the upper parts of the power pack has increased, providing even better pedestrian protection than other C30 models. And the standard we have achieved today is a very high level, something we should be really proud of. These results have only been possible by having a 100% focused project team, which never drifted from the target to make the very first Volvo Pure electric vehicle.